Breathe with me. Find the space that your breath creates. Find the space and the silence. Draw to you powerfully all thought forms sent out unconsciously. Draw to you all energy left, scattered or outbound. Bring to you with your breath your full, potent attention. Be undivided. Be here now. We've come together today for a great occurrence in the consciousness of humanity and beyond. We've come because we have heard, we have felt, and we know the stirrings deep within our own souls that we must shift and change more than ever before. We must remember ourselves amidst the lure of chaos and ego. We have not come here to be misguided and plugged into the matrix of ideas that wish to limit us and our grand capacities as infinite beings. We have come here to master cause and effect, to live fully our human experience, to welcome transformation that we would return to a greater sense of completeness and that we would give back assisting our fellow human beings in also returning to the light within. Utilizing these powerful, the energy beams and light that arrives on our planet. We communicate now with the core of our own selves, our higher selves, and the oversoul of the entire consciousness of humankind. To welcome the quantum leap in a tangible, real, awakened way in our lives. Please now call upon your guides, whoever they might be, the galactics the Celestials, the Ascended Masters, 
those who have become awakened and led us out of darkness. Call upon them now to be present, to help speed and change, to help guide and assist, to give clues and love where needed. Open to their vast, caring now. What you will take with you beyond this moment is not the version of you that says you cannot be, create or have anything you want. It is the version of you that exists in a space of pureness, peace and constantly unfolding divine revelation. You are a child of God, of universe. You are the stardust and the space between all molecules. You are remembering your infinite self and it has been both frightening and exciting. The guides wish to tell you not to fear, that it is in buying into the traps of fear that allow these systems of misjudgment, of clouding the truth, of lives half lived to continue on. If we choose to move past these systems of density, we will free ourselves and move more swiftly towards a unity consciousness, which at some level we all know is possible. Will you now open up your energy systems? Will you now elevate your consciousness with the collective? Will you now connect to all others who are intending on ascending with this first wave of light? Will you knowingly accept your birthright as that of a being of light? Will you choose to diligently guard your thought forms? To use your eyes to gaze upon one another with the truth of the light of love within you, knowing that this gaze or these words can either harm or they can heal, bringing us either closer or more into the lie of separation. If you are willing now to open to these transmutative energies, say I am. Say it again and this time say it from your heart. I am. Please take a minute now to envision the earth. The earth that's given us so much. She needs us now. She needs us more than ever to be balanced and 
to communicate our wholeness through our relationships, through the way we live our life, to the way we make our choices. Let us help her balance by choosing the lighter path, choosing not to buy into the lure of those lower, denser emotions, but instead to take each one of these occurrences as ways to modify our personalities so that we can shift along with her into higher vibrational, more true versions of ourselves. Feel your own energies balancing as the vision of the earth also balances. Notice yourself in a space of calm as you connect to the earth and all of those who are also intending on harmony and a new template for us all. This is a time of great new beginnings and great endings. With the power of this collective with the support of the earth, the guides, the angels, one another. What would you like to release now to balance within you? In the light of these powerful waves of light, What would you release? What would you carry with you through this portal and into a new space and reality for yourself? You are being called to create time every day where you can sit and be silent and open yourself to these great energies that wish to assist and guide you. In these times where the dark ones the dark energies are shifting on earth it's especially important to be aware of the ego you may say upon waking to assist yourself I call on my soul I call on the highest most divine presence. I place my ego personality under the control and guidance of this self that we would only create harmony, balance and beauty within and all around us. And so it is. Remember to spend this time 
in gratitude for yourself for all the work that you have been doing. Gratitude is a power in itself and has the power to shift and transform most any situation. Also, whenever you get a chance, take time to visit nature. Consciously send your loving thoughts to the earth. Consciously choose higher thought forms ones that resonate with love and joy and this will start to create changes on earth that are so needed Look out for clues as the coming weeks and months, your guides and your soul will be showing you ways that you can continue to progress and process even more thoroughly and faster. Thank you for calling your energy in and contributing it to this group intention. Please remember that there is so much support for you beyond the physical. You are loved. You are so very loved and protected. Everything is falling into place. Everything has its place in the plan. And the more you open to something higher than you, the more you will see your own place in it. May you have abundance. May you be held in the embrace of these energies. May you choose love before you choose fear. May you return to a very clear sense of what it is to be sovereign.